that otters live in kelp forest. They even wrap up in kelp when they go to sleep so they don't float away. That's true, but there's no kelp here and no otter mommy, which means something is very wrong. But let me guess, you know just who to send to kelp. I mean, help. That I do. Rosie, strength power. Bonnie, vision power. Indigo, speed power. Ready, Rangers? Rangers, ready! Move, 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 move! Ride, Rangers, when they're in the water. He'll get scared if you take him out. New idea, then. We'll keep him in the water. Take my scooter, Floof. It's swim time. Good idea, Indy. This way. zippity o and away we go. why the baby floated away. Pepper said otters wrap up in kelp. But look, there's barely any kelp around here. I wonder. Vision power! Aha! The ocean floor is covered with sea urchins. Sea urchins eat kelp. And more kelp can't take root and grow with all the sea urchins there. So the hungry, hungry sea urchins are the problem. On it! <laughs> Ow! You bit me! And so did you! They didn't bite. 
bite you, Rosie. Sea urchins are spiny. They sting. That's how they protect themselves. And we can't move them. The ocean is their home, too. But we have to move them if they're taking all the otters' kelp. Right? Sea urchins do eat kelp, but then the otters eat sea urchins, so everything's supposed to stay in balance. I don't know why it's not. Oh! Hello, Rainbow Rangers! Rainbow Rangers! Preston Praxton? <laughs> the one and only. Allow me to turn off my music. I like to play my own spooky soundtrack when I'm doing something dastardly. Then you know it's bad to cut down the kelp forest. Of course I do, but I don't particularly care. And I won't let anyone stop me, especially you, Booby Trap. Just the one sample. We want our customers to pay for their treats. Customers? No. I'll take the sample. Mmm. This is really good. It's my favorite flavor, Patty Special. Yeah, I'm sure it's great and all, but we... Mmm. Seriously? What? It's genuinely impressive. And we're going to sell it for millions. It's my little angel's secret recipe, and I'll bet you'll never guess her secret ingredient. Daddy, if you tell them, it's not a secret. Then I won't tell them. I'll just give them a hint. <laughs> you put kelp in your ice cream? Daddy! <clears throat> kelp happens to be an excellent ice cream thickener. Lots of people use it. I'm not the only one. We built a whole factory to make it, see? So we need a lot of kelp, and you can't stop us from cutting it down. Yep, you do need a lot of kelp. Mm, this is wonderful. It's what now? Floof? Um, BB, I think the ice cream gave you brain freeze. I beg your pardon, Indigo, but my brain does not freeze. It fizzes. Patty, it's obvious that you need lots of kelp. But if you cut it all, not only will you hurt the environment, you'll run out. But if we run out of kelp, we can't make Patty-licious ice cream. Or Preston-licious millions. Beeble, you're a smart little blue thing. What do we do? It's BB. And what you do is grow kelp. Kelp farming is great for the environment. Don't care. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And if you're always growing it, you'll never run out. So we'll have more ice cream. And more money. Oh, ah. But don't make us do any work, because we won't. We'll set it up for you. Come on, Rangers. I construct Omax the length of pipe and covered it in kelp seeds. Now lots of kelp will grow. 
And if there's lots of kelp, the otters will come back. Then everything will be back in balance. Exactly. And kelp farming is easy. Even a Praxton can do it. But maybe we should come back every now and then and make sure. Great plan, BB. So, it looks like our job is done. Homeward bound, Rangers! Jack Pack, let's roll. Buckle up for a wild ride. Shaquille O'Neal and the Shack Pack are driving high octane adventures straight to Cartoon Channel in Cartoon Channel's upcoming original series, Shaq's Garage. Checkmate, again. Check out Shaq's Garage, part of Cartoon Channel on Pluto TV. Yet, it's not safe for those elk to be in the cave with earthquakes happening. There could be aftershocks. Smaller earthquakes that come after a bigger one. Oh! Then let's get him out of there. Come on, Rangers! Aww, they're so unbesqueezably cute. Shock earthquake! Better hurry and get these elks out of <laughs> Don't worry, Elk. Rosie can get us out of here, right, Rosie? Bet your rainbow I can! And this time I'm getting rid of the rock for good! Strength power! <laughs> Problem solved. Oh, come on! Maybe we should just wait until the aftershocks stop. How many do you think we'll get, Bibi? Actually, I'm not sure why we're getting any earthquakes here. 
Earthquakes happen when plates of the Earth's crust move against each other on what's called a fault line. But this area isn't on a fault line. Something's making this happen! I'm gonna look! Rainbow Tiara Visor, go! I see some kind of pipe! Of course! It's a fracking pipe used for fracking. That's when someone drills down into rocks to release the gas inside them. And that makes earthquakes happen? It can. Human scientists say it's risky to the environment. Then we've got to stop it. Let's get these elk out while we can. Then we'll follow that pipe. Move it! Rock strength power! Okay, Elk, you're safe now. But you should scamper somewhere away from this cave. <laughs> they say goodbye and thanks. I'm glad they're safe. Bibi, the pipe went that way. See anything? I will soon. Vision power! I see it! I see the fracking well. Now let's find out who put it there. I love the smell of a fracking well in the morning. Smells like money. Preston Praxton, you're the one behind the fracking. And that means you're the one causing the earthquakes. Oh, sure. My well might shake things up a bit, but the good news is I'm collecting gas and selling it for megabucks. Look what I've already bought! <laughs> Look out! It's a booby trap! Floof! Ah! What, this? No. This is just how I'll show you my new expensive toy. Prepare to be dazzled! <laughs> it's my new giant Booby Trap Remote Control! I love it, because it lets me do this! Booby Trap! Stand back, Rangers! I got this! Straight. Not so fast! Booby Trap Part 2! Have a ball, Rangers! Cave? Now we're right back where we started! Not for long! Stand back, Rangers! I've got this! Straight! Ah! Another earthquake! And it's rolling the ball! Giant booby trap remote, this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Yes! We're out! Hooray! My poor, poor, beautiful giant booby trap button, you were so young! <laughs> I'll never forget you! Never! I'm sorry your new toy is broken, Preston. I can see it meant a lot to you. <sighs> Thank you, silly yellow girl. Poor Preston. He really is so sad. Poor Preston? Seriously? Floof, floof! Oh, for Rainbow's sake. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but... Uh, Preston, I can fix the button. Really? Really. On one condition, you have to stop fracking. Stop fracking? 
But then how will I get the gas that people want to buy and use for power? And the money they pay. I like money. I have a better way for you to make power. And it definitely won't cause earthquakes. Do you agree? Agree to keep making money and get my big, beautiful booby trap button fixed? In a word, yes! Shutting down! Fracking operation is off, Bluey. Your turn. Constructo Max, construct a windmill! Um, okay. Now there's one of those turny, spinny things up there. How does that help me at all? I made you a windmill. You can use it to harness wind energy, a clean source of power. Yes, fine, amazing, clean, and good for the environment. Now, will you fix my baby? <sighs> yes. Constructo Max, reconstruct Preston's remote. Oh, hooray! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> you fools! You've just rebuilt your own destruction! Booby trap! <laughs> Wait, what happened? What's going on? I made a few adjustments. Don't worry, the ball will roll him back home, then it'll open. Mission accomplished, Rangers. Let's head home. When troubles come, we're on the way. Rainbow Rangers save the day. Just Garage! Pedal to the metal, go racing down the highway. Got a party or a problem, you can call us anytime. Hey. Big Diesel is the strongest, go. Cloud C is the fastest. Grunk is sweet and happy and is smiling Whoa. all the time. It's Shack's Garage! Hey! It's Shack's Garage! Oh! It's Shack's Garage! Hey! I am Shack. Welcome to my Shack Pack. Strange sound. <gasps> what in tarnation? Something awful weird's going on here. They're actually being eaten by some kind of insect or other pest. Okay, but insects are normal parts of nature, right? Where do we come in? These plants are crumbling very quickly. That's highly unusual. Something must be wrong. I agree, BB. Nature's balance is off. And I need you rangers to figure out why. Those flowers are unbeskeezable! 
like Kaleidoscopia on Earth. Floof. Aren't they splendiferous? It's called a super bloom. When there's lots of rain in winter, flowers super grow in spring. Oh, I see the farm Kalia showed us. This way. I'm so glad you're here. I don't understand what's happening to my tomato plants. I could lose my entire crop. Um, does anyone else hear chomping? I hear it too. I think it's coming from the plants. Yes! Oh, I hear worms! Are they talking about how delicious the tomatoes are? That's exactly what they're saying. When did you learn to speak worm? I didn't. I just speak yummy. Oh, I bet they're tomato worms. I'd ask them why they're eating so much, but I'm so big, my voice will sound like noise to them. Then you need some small help. Flitter flower, micro power! Now you can talk to the worms through my kaleidicom. Here I come, worms. Hope you're not too slimy. Howdy! Nice place you have here. Huh? Oh, how polite! Got any salt? Lav, this isn't a lunch date. You're on a mission. Ignore her. She's just hangry. Oh, that's very interesting. You can come back now, Lavender. Okay, thanks for the chow. Gotta go now. Flitterflower Micro Power! So what they say? Jed, he's the head worm, said they usually stay away from this farm because there's a field of marigolds next door and they don't like the smell. But this year, there's no marigold smell. He also said to tell you your tomatoes are really yummy. Oh, how sweet. Tell him to stop eating them. Anna, I don't get it. There's a super bloom this year. Why can't the worms smell the marigolds? Floof! I don't know what that is, Floof, but we should check it out. <gasps> no way! <laughs> it's Big Gold Preston and Little Red Nose Preston. Look! I, too, take that marigold and that and that! <laughs> Oh, Rangers. And you're right, too. I hate it when you're right. <laughs> Preston, why are you destroying all these splendiferous flowers? Did someone named Marigold break your heart or something? Ah, oh, I don't have a heart, but I do have a nose, and my allergies are killing me, thanks to all this super bloom, super pollen. <laughs> Floof. <laughs> Thank you, weird horsey thing. You do look pretty horrible. And you sound worse. I know, right? <laughs> More, please. Just keep them coming. Fluff, fluff. Allergies or no allergies, you can't just destroy nature. Hello? Have we met? Destroying nature is what I do. Oh, no. This one's a big one. Huh? Ah, uh, ah, uh, booby trap! I sure hope it doesn't smell like Preston's feet in there. Oh, this is a robot! Why does it smell like feet? Here. Better believe we do. Maybe 
Maybe I can run super fast and get the metal hot enough to pop open! Speed power! <laughs> sitting on the job. You need to stomp the flowers. Stomp them! Where's the rainbow horn horse with the tissues? Thank you. Oh, this is terrible. My eyeballs itch. Itchy eyeballs serve you right. You're stomping marigolds. Those flowers aren't just beautiful. Their smell keeps your neighbor's tomato farm free of tomato worms. I don't care. Tomatoes are yucky. I don't like food that squirts at me. That's why I have a potato farm over there. <laughs> What? What's happening to my potatoes? Did we mention the tomato worms eat potatoes, too? They like tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes, and potatoes. Shame your big gold goons stomped all the marigolds. It might have saved your potato farm. No! Rangers, you care about planty-type things? You've got to save my crops. I need those potatoes to make my popular Preston Praxton potato puffs. People pay premium prices for puffs. We do like planty-type things. What do you say, Rangers? Should we gather marigolds and replant them? With the super bloom, there's plenty to go around. On it. Back before you know I'm gone. Arms full of marigolds. And this is just the first batch. Let's get to planting. Yeah. All right! Move. Splendiferous work, Rangers! The marigold field is beautiful! And the tomato worms don't like the smell, so they'll stay far away from your potatoes and your neighbor's tomatoes. Happy now, Preston? Do I sound happy? My allergies are terrible again. Maybe you just need to get away from the pollen for a little while. You could go... On vacation! You're right, Yellowy! I'm rich! I can go wherever I want! Take me to the airport, big gold me! We're going to the beach! I was gonna say he could go inside. He'll be okay. At least the marigolds are here, and nature is back in balance. So, mission accomplished! Homeward bound, Rangers! When troubles come, we're on the way! Rainbow Rangers save the day! Ready, Rangers? With Cartoon Channel, you can explore new worlds without leaving where you are. That's so cool! And it's free! Discover favorite characters and brand new shows in one place. Cartoon Channel. Download now!
creature on Earth needs our help. Aw, that bat's cooling off with a giant fan. It looks like a wind turbine or windmill. That's a machine that makes electricity. And the bat's not cooling off. He looks like he's about to get hit. Look out, bat! I don't get it. Why does the bat keep trying to fly into the windmill if it's gonna get hit? Shouldn't he just fly away? It's a good question, Indigo. And I know just who to send to find out. BB. Vision power. Indigo. Speed power. Lavender. Micro power. Ready, Rangers? Rangers, ready! Bloop, 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 no! Ride, Rangers, ride! It's a gorge. Mm-hmm. Floof, floof, floof. We're not here to check out the fashions. We're here to help the bat. I see him! Wait a minute. There's a bunch of bats nearly flying into windmills. Maybe it's fun for them. Like a batty game. They sound scared to me. Time to round up some bats and carry them away from the windmills. Speed power! I got as many as I could, but there's still lots more. And I don't think these guys like being held. Let them go. There are too many bats to grab. And even if we take them away, they can still come back. So if we really want to save them... We could turn off the windmills! Great idea, Lavender. I'll figure out how. Vision power! I see something. Looks like it could be a gearbox. Not sure we can get into it, though. It's pretty small. Pretty small is what I do best. Flitter flower micro power! While she's doing that, let's try to keep the bats away from the windmills. On it! Floof, floof! Okay, metal box. Not a pretty color, which is problem number one, but it's open, which solves problem number two. How to get in? Swirl and twirl, I'll give it a whirl! Couldn't just be a simple on-off switch? How's it going, Lavender? Um, fine! Great! I totally know exactly what I'm doing! Back in the gym! Okay, pretending I know what I'm doing... need us. Hop on, Floof! Floof, Floof! Let's go save some skiers! Speed power! While they're gone, get the windmill started again. I'll keep an eye on the bats. Sure, get the windmill started again. Easy peasy. <laughs> Some light. 
quiet on that voice, Floof. Let's see what's going on. Floof, Floof! again. as much as the bats. I bet that's why the bats like the windmills. Floof? Bats eat bugs. So if bugs like the windmills... <laughs> the hungry bats will follow them. So if we get the bugs to stay away from the windmills, the bats will stay away from the windmills too, right? Sounds right. Except we don't know why the bugs like the windmills so much. So we don't know how to keep them away. Hmm. Maybe we don't need to know why the bugs like windmills. Maybe we can just keep the bats away even though bugs are there. Splendiferous idea! We can make the windmills really gross for the bats. Like, we'll paint them a super ugly color. Floof! Bleh. That's a great idea! But we won't paint them an ugly color. We'll paint the windmills an ugly sound. Um, say what now? Bats don't see with vision. They see with sound. They make noises that bounce off objects. It's called echolocation. Okay, got that part. But how does that help us? I'll show you. Constructomax, construct ultrasonic sound machine. We don't hear anything, BB. <laughs> exactly! What you don't hear is an ultrasonic noise. Humans, rangers, and prismacorns can't hear it, but bats can. And they hate it! Look! <laughs> You're right! It worked! It really worked! Floof! <laughs> Great plan, BB! Mission accomplished, Rangers! When troubles come, we're on the way! Rainbow Rangers save the day! With Cartoon Channel, there's something for everyone! You can make the world a safer place with Rainbow Rangers! We did it! Sing along with super simple songs and have a watch party with the whole family! <laughs> Discover new places and new faces and go on a gaming adventure with KC Play Mix! GG! <laughs> Best of all, it's safe, fun, and free! Awesome! Catch up with old friends like Dr. Seuss and make new ones in Stan Lee's Superhero Kindergarten, all in one place! Download Cartoon Channel. That's Cartoon with a K.
Rangers, go! moving very fast. Too fast for this turtle. He needs our help, and I know just who to send. Rosie, strength power. Anna, animal power. Bibi, vision power. Ready, Rangers? Rangers, ready! Move, 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 move! Ride, Rangers, ride! Homeward Bound Rangers? Not quite yet. We need to know how the turtle got swept away in the first place so we can stop it from happening again. I'll ask. <coughs> oh! There was a big spring snowstorm that melted so quickly, the melted snow flowed into the river and flooded it. <coughs> He said it's not the first time this happened. Let's make it the last. But how do we stop spring snowstorms? We can't, but we can make this riverbank safer so the turtles don't get washed away next time the river floods. Floof! I know how. I'll make him a super strong home. Strength power! <laughs> Now the turtles are safe and sound. Um, that's true, but they're also kind of trapped and can't get out to find food. Oops. Uh, sorry about that. Um, strike power! Floof, floof, floof.
We can't coop up the turtles, and we can't stop spring snowstorms. But there has to be a way to stop the flooding from storms and keep the turtles safe. I got it! Construct a max a giant sponge! That'll sop up all the extra water! A giant sponge? Well, that's just silly differs. You can't have a giant kitchen sponge laying around in nature. <gasps> that's a great idea, Rosie. It is? I mean, of course it is. A giant kitchen sponge laying around in nature. Who wouldn't think that's a great idea? Floof, floof! I think it'll take a lot of sponges to soak up a river, BB. I didn't mean those kind of sponges. We need to create nature sponge, an artificial marshland to soak up the flood water. Marshmallows! Uh, that's marshmallows. I want to make marsh land. Come on, I'll show you. First step to creating marshland. Dig a big hole. Constructomax, construct a giant hole in the ground. Now we need a liner to cover the bottom of the hole. Constructomax, construct a pond liner. Now we need layers of sand and gravel. Then we'll plant some wetland plants on top. Floof can handle the sand and gravel. Right, Floof? Floof! <laughs> floof, floof, floof. Now the rest of us can gather the wetland plants from the other parts of the river. Let's do it. Rangers, go! to plant these plants. Better work fast. This sudden downpour could make the river overflow again. Double time, Rangers! Wetlands. You and Floof grab the turtles. You'll need this. Construct a max, construct a net. Floof, Floof! Come on, Floofers! Let's save those turtles! Same plan as last time, Floof. Ready? Floof, Floof! It was too strong and it swept the net away. You have to get the turtles before they wash away forever. Perfect timing. That's the last of the plants. Constructomax. Construct a connecting channel. will be safe, even when there's heavy rains or spring snowstorms. Mission accomplished! <laughs> when troubles come, we're on the way! Rainbow Rangers save the day! Just Garage! Pedal to the metal, racing down the highway, got a party or a problem, you can call us anytime! Hey. Diesel is the strongest, Klaus C is the fastest, Gronk is sweet and happy and is smiling all the time! It's Shaq's Garage! Hey! It's 
Shaq's Garage. Oh, it's Shaq's Garage. Hey. I am Shaq. Welcome to my Shaq Pack. Interesting, because I'd actually think you'd be perfect to send. What? I can't believe Kalia sent me on this mission. My hair's gonna smell like a dump for a week, and I'm not here for it. <laughs> This'll be easy. We move the catalogs and unbury the pigeon. Right here. Catalogs can be recycled. Why are they here in a landfill? Not sure. But I bet it has something to do with the guy on the cover. Preston Paraxon on a fashion catalog? Ugh. Preston can't have a fashion line. That's like me selling a line of booby traps. Huh? More beeping means more catalogs. To the scooters, Rangers! Get it now! I've read about this. When recycling plants get too full, they send the overflow to the dump. That's why the catalogs are here. So wait, none of them will get recycled? Mm -mm. Just too many. The only way to help is to make fewer catalogs. Then that's our new mission. We'll find Preston and get him to stop making catalogs. Okay, but how do we find him? He has offices all over the world, remember? Well... I can't believe I'm saying this, but Preston has a scarf I would totally rock. Lavender, shop later. Find Preston now. Or find Preston while you shop. His fashion company's address has to be in the catalog. <laughs> Got it. Follow me, Rangers. Hello, 
handsome. You're looking scathingly rich today. Rest in practice! Ah! Rainbow Rangers, I am a very busy, important man doing very busy, important things. <laughs> like talking to yourself in the mirror? To be fair, Positive self-talk is very important. Why, hello, beautiful. You're looking rainbow-rifically splendiferous today. Say, she gets it. Preston, you're printing too many catalogs, more than can fit in recycling plants. You're filling up landfills, and you need to stop. Hmm, you make an interesting point. I'll consider that while I... Booby trap! <laughs> Welcome to my claw machine, Rainbow Rangers, where catching you is the prize! Rangers, huddle up! He can't catch us if he can't see us! In Visibility, that's not fair. Oh, whatever. I love a challenge. If we move together, we can get where the claw won't reach us. Ready? Uh huh. Move. Raha! Gotcha now, Rangers! <laughs> Sorry, Rangers, I need to take this. Just hang out for a bit. <laughs> Donnie, what's up? Oh, how can I strength power us out of here when I can't reach the claw? Oh, polka dots with stripes. So daring. Lavender, this is no time for shopping. <gasps> Rosie, these shoes are everything. Think Preston would make a pair for floof? <gasps> That's it! I know, right? See, the colors would totally match his mane! No! I mean, uh, Floof can get us free. Floof, can you hear me? Floof, Floof, we need your help. Stay under the shawl and go push Preston's remote control button again. That'll open the claw. Floof, Floof. You don't say. Tell me all about it. Uh-huh. Really? Oh, no, she didn't. Well, certainly. Well, it's obvious, Donnie. Really? Yes. Oh, well, that's exactly my point. Well, I think you're spot on. <laughs> Why not? No. <laughs> yes. Let's go, Rangers. We can't go yet. There's still a problem with Preston's catalogs. I know. Why would anyone pair a polka dot scarf with a stripey hat? First, I think the dots and stripes work. Second, we'll never talk Preston into doing the right thing. We have to show him. And I've got the perfect plan. Follow me. And what did you say? And what did you say? <laughs> and what did she say? And what did you say? You're up, Floof. Show him how much trouble a whole lot of paper can be. Floof, Floof. Uh, what? Uh, 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 gotta go, Johnny. I'll call you back. Uh, what's going on? We're going on, Preston. You didn't listen. So we have to show you why your catalogs are a real problem. You're still talking about those catalogs? I'm drowning in paper here. What's the connection? Oh, okay. Now I see it. Exactly. The way you feel now is the way the Earth feels drowning in your catalogs. But I need my catalogs to sell my clothing line. Have you seen my cat ear headbands? They're trending. 
Age 84. For real? I have to check him out! Lavender! I mean, Preston, you can still have a catalog, just make it online. No paper, no waste. And I can order that headband with just one click. Oh, I do like that. But I have a whole section of my factory that just prints catalogs. What do I do with that? Turn it into a recycling plant. Recycling is big business. <gasps> so if I go into recycling, then all this paper is just like money. <clears throat> Don't touch this paper. Mine, mine. I'm keeping it all. Ow! Paper cut. I feel like we should give him some privacy. Agreed. Homeward bound? When troubles come, we're on the way! Rainbow Rangers save the day! Shack Pack, let's roll! Buckle up for a wild ride! Shaquille O'Neal and the Shack Pack are driving high octane adventures straight to Cartoon Channel in Cartoon Channel's upcoming original series, Shack's Garage. Checkmate again. Yeah. Oh, 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 Check out Shaq's Garage, part of Cartoon Channel on Pluto TV.